Hi guys, welcome. Skelly here, we're off for a bit of a glitch video. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, one-off video glitch videos kind of thing, but, um, yeah. In, uh, in this one, I'm playing Fate Extender right now. I was just playing in portable mode, just doing the darn thing, just trying to get some EX ranks on some of the difficulties on some sub-stories and whatnot. I'm playing as Medusa right now, and I'm on the easy difficulty, because you have to beat every mission on every difficulty, and there were four difficulties, so of course my first time through, I'm going to go on the first, because, you know, the char all characters are level one, and it plays similar to a Dynasty Warriors game, even though it's not exactly the same. Picture every uh, keep as a sector, treat every aggressor as a keep boss, or a, uh, or a um, significant enemy and stuff, and then treat every servant as a warrior. That's basically the easiest way to put it. Oh, and, of course, plants, treat them as... Um, outposts because the routes in between every sector are just fast travel points. So now I've got the that out of the way for a quick little explanation. Um, basically to get EX rank you need to get 3,500 kills I believe, that's roughly the number I go for in order to get an EX rank for kills. Take less than 300 hits which you cannot check during gameplay which is kind of dumb but normally it's just 300 hits not 300 HP loss. And then you also need to get a combo of 2,500 and you need to take out every sector. I'm on the final sector before needing to go to the boss. Thankfully the boss ain't chasing me because it's in a portal, so it's in a separate room. So that's helpful, so I can take my time. Thing is, I've got one sector left to clear off, and I've bumped into a glitch. So let me get into that. So, you know, just killing enemies, just doing the darn thing and whatnot, and... Well, here's the thing. Um... There's a red aggressor... Well, I've only got one aggressor left, and the arrow tells you where the target is. But if I try to run where it is, apparently the arrow is all the way down here. And if I look on the map, it is in that direction as well, in a different sector. Apparently in that room down there. And he's out of render distance. But the thing is, he's actually in that sector, as you can see there. He's actually getting stuck on the wall. Thing is, though, he's part of the sector I am in. And aggressors aren't supposed to be in different sectors from what they're supposed to be in. So, if I try to even go down there and leave, bloody hell, a plant has spawned again already, because how else are they supposed to progress? It's no longer in that sector, and if I pause, the blue uh, people, like symbols, are my aggressors. They're basically the, uh, my, my, my keep bosses, effectively, so that's pointless, so he's not there. But if I come back here, he respawns back in that room again. So, I can't actually EX rank this mission, and I've already spent 17 minutes doing this mission. So that means I've got to do it again, just to get e EX rank on easy, even though I've still got to, you know, do it another three times for every other difficulty. That's annoying. This is the first time I bumped into this glitch, by the way. I do not know how to get that aggressor while being in the sector to spawn him, but not be able to hit him when he's in another sector. How did he even get down there is another question. I mean, like, can I even see him? There we go. Look, we can, we can clearly see him now. He's right there. But he'll only spawn if I'm in this sector, because he's part of this sector. If I try to go down there to kill him, he de-renders. Because he's supposed to be in this room, not in that room down there. But if I go down to that room, he despawns and the bloody plant respawns. So I can't take out this... Actually, hang on, there might be a way on tricking this out. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I get as close to him as possible, and try to get a grunt to attack me here... Come on. There you are. Let me do this. This is an Extella maneuver, pretty much like a um, wide-ranging screen nuke for all enemies on the screen and does massive damage. Also helpful for invincibility frames. Oh, the problem is it's not an area of attack explosion, and I can't even get my um, uh, Noble Phantasm, which is the true screen nuke, because you need three chips, and I've only got two out of three, and the third one is in the boss area, and once I go in there I can't leave. So I can't actually do this. And that is a big shame, because that means I've got to do this again, just because he's decided to spawn down there for some reason. And he, he can't respawn up here. And the problem is as well, he's a big dude. A heavy hitter. So I'm screwed, I can't finish this. I guess what I'll do is I'll just cut until I actually beat the level and show you that I can't get EX. Because I can't clear off that one sector. Which is a really big shame. So I'll just head into this portal, and uh, I'm going to have to do this again in my own time, that's great. And there she goes. Sorry Nero. You're awesome, but I'm on, the, I'm on a different team. Those jiggle physics, yo. 
But that's not the point of this video. And total sectors, because I didn't take them all out, I don't get EX rank, so I have to do it again in order to get the best ranking in the game. And that's the problem. Because of that glitch, that's, that's the first time I've seen this glitch. And at the same time, it's directly affected me. I don't know how that enemy spawned in another sector that he's not supposed to be in. Because when aggressors spawn, they're supposed to spawn in the sector that you're in. Yes, they're all over the place, but when you trigger them to spawn, or if you go into a sector, you fight the aggressors in there. They're not supposed to be somehow in another sector. Because every time I try to go to that sector, because he's not in the, he's part of a sector that I'm not in, he de-renders. So I can't hit him. I mean, I didn't actually try to see if his hitbox was still there, but I would assume no. So why did he spawn in a, in a completely different sector? and in the middle of that sector that I was nowhere near it didn't make sense to me this is the first time i've seen this glitch incor uh, like incorrect sp aggressor spawn perhaps i don't know what to call it but yeah just an off the wall video and i had to record it this way because i couldn't hold the bloody capture button because uh, you can't capture this software even though it's part of the home menu of the nintendo switch because it's part of the firmware nintendo are very odd about this and you can only record 30 seconds as well I don't understand Nintendo's practice on that, I mean the PS4 can record videos on any game as long as it's not blocked recording, but apparently only Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey are allowed, and it's literally, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So far those are the only three games, even Zelda Blade 2 can't capture video footage, it don't make sense to me. I can't even take a video capture in the menu. So, but yeah, that's the glitch, I do not, it's a very bad glitch, because that stopped me from getting the EX, and that's annoying, because it was lit, that was literally the only aggressor, I've took, taken out the plant already, so it couldn't spawn any more aggressors, once I killed that aggressor, I would have taken that, that, that sector, and then I would have got EX rank once I finished the mission, as long as I didn't take, you know, a hundred, uh, two hundred and twenty more hits, but yeah, it's like, literally just because I couldn't hit that one aggressor, that screwed me over, and I have to play the whole mission again, which is going to take another 15 to 20 minutes. So, yeah, I mean, if, it, if they're too far, maybe they should just spawn back in the middle, perhaps? That would be a nice way of fixing it, or just so that they don't spawn outside of the sector they're supposed to be in, because, I mean, obviously it was a glitch, it's not intended, but it, there's... There should be an easy way to fix this, so this game could use an update. This is the Switch version, of course, as you've seen. This is the this is the uh, like definitive version, not 60 frames, but it doesn't have screen tearing. It's portable and it's a home console version. It's got all the DLC from the previous versions plus additional, all for the the flat price of like 40 pound in the UK. So I do recommend this game, but yeah, that's a glitch, and I just don't know why it happened and that's kind of annoying because i've got to play the mission again yes it's only 20 minutes but that's that's still the case because i've still got to play the mission on normal hard and very hard in order to you know get ex rank on all difficulties because i was playing on normal and it wasn't given it for me for easy so i had to do it so you have to play on all difficulties but yeah so that's the glitch and i'll see you for whatever video i do next as long as it's well and it could be a glitch it could be a let's play video probably let's play so i'll see you guys next time